I took the bones left over from butchering that deer and put them on the grill on the low for about an hour. Filled this pot with them, topped it off with cold water, and put it on a low heat. And added some mirepoix, carrots, onion, and celery. Let that simmer for about 20 hours or so. And then strained everything off. Took this broth and filled clean, sterilized quart jars. I like to leave, oh, about an inch of head space on these because we're going to be pressure canning them. And once all the jars are full, clean the rims with a wet paper towel. And then took the lids, poured some boiling water over them, let the seals soften. Once all the lids are on the jars, the bands go on just finger tight. You don't want to crank these down too much. I love this old pressure canner. It will hold two layers of quart jars. I filled it up. And the other nice thing about this particular type of canner is it doesn't have a rubber seal that can go bad over time. So in lieu of that, it's just these screw toggles that tighten down, keeping the aluminum tight to the pot and so once this is all set up I run it about 15 psi give all the scraps to the pigs there's no better way to reintroduce calcium and other minerals back into the soil than to run it through a pig or a dog and they certainly don't mind so we get up to 15 pounds and run that for 90 minutes once that's done heat comes off and then just let it sit don't remove the valve on it let it come down to temperature naturally once the jar is out you can see them still percolating away there and the result is this glorious thick bone broth full of collagen peptides and all that good stuff it'll last for a couple of years in the pantry